speak for the anniversary edition of the PBW magazine on the pharma biotech efforts for the Make in India program. I'll talk about what is it that we are doing well, what can we do better, and why I believe we can do better. The Indian pharma biotech sector has been touted as being world number three in terms of production volumes and world number 10 in terms of value. I believe we can actually make this world number three even in terms of value. Today, every third pill that is eaten by a patient in the US comes from India. Every fourth pill consumed in the UK comes from India. India pharma exports in fiscal 20 were upwards of 20 billion dollars. This gives the scale of what we are making in India today. Now, why are there more opportunities for us to make in India for the future? One, we have an increasing life expectancy. This is true not just in India, but around the world. Closer to home in India, we have a huge domestic market that where the consumption has gone up because of the fact that there is better awareness of medicines as well as more disposable incomes that have been, come, been put to use. In addition, there is a patent cliff that the pharmaceutical industry is going through, making it an opportunity to introduce more and more generic drugs into the market. The patent cliff that we are right now going through is at the scale of about $250 billion that's coming off patent between 2018 and 2025. All of this is a make in India opportunity for us. On top of this, there are new types of medicines that have now become available and India has already entered into this space. What I'm referring to here is biosimilars. In addition, I'm also referring to the newer types of vaccines such as the polysaccharide vaccines. All of these are, can be made in India to build the Make in India platform even further. What is needed for this to be successful is the ecosystem, government policy. Government has been supporting through initiatives such as Atmanirbhar Bharat, Ayushyaman Bharat and Jana Aushadi. India has also demonstrated an appetite to take on world problems, build an ecosystem by demonstrating its ability to eradicate things like polio. What is now needed is an innovation and environment and an innovation ecosystem. We at Sinji were able to use the COVID of requirements and the COVID needs of the pandemic era to put innovation to use by developing an RT-PCR lab within a matter of weeks, getting it both NABL and ICMR accredited to start testing and providing services for the state of, the, of Karnataka. NBRIC as an organization was able to bring many such entities together who have now been able to offer reagents, kits, diagnostic assays and talent to make in India diagnostics possible. Sinjin specifically has repurposed its, its laboratories to make probes and primers, antibodies, proteins, things that are essential components of diagnostic kits, which were not being made in India, now possible to be made in India and therefore bring about self-reliance and self-sufficiency. Um, All of these interventions require the support of policy. Government policy needs to improve from providing the opportunity for single window clearances. This is specifically true for approval of new labs, approval of new facilities, bringing in clinical trials and promoting innovation. The other component of what government needs to provide is, initiative, is incentives as well as tax rebates. The government used to offer 200% tax rebate and we now need to get back into that instead of the 100% tax rebate. We need to encourage the development of a talent pool and we need to get out of the price control framework. All of these components will help bring innovation. 
last but not least india continues to be heavily dependent on the apis supply coming from china by the year 2032 we are expected to have an import market that's 160 billion dollars worth of import market to come out of this dependency on china we need to build innovation and move the pipeline for api and key starting materials into india this is an opportunity that requires working together between the academic institutions CROs and CMOs like Sinjin plus the industry and the government sector. Thank you very much.